Hey guys, and welcome to another pickups video. Yeah, my Nathan knows. Hopefully this one won't be as late as the previous two. Well, I'm filming this way earlier, so it really shouldn't be. And sorry for the lack of content lately. So let's just head into what was a very slow month, at least flea market wise. There weren't really a lot, but those that were didn't really have anything, so pretty slow on that front. And I'm telling you, that wasn't going to stop this month being awesome. Let's just dive in, shall we? So already on August 1st, I went to a couple of flea markets. At the first one I picked up three games, two for the PS2, Puzzle Quest and Dragon Guard 2, I think that's how it's pronounced. And I picked up one PS3 game, Kane and Lynch, Dead Men. The PS2 game was about a buck and a half each, and the PS3 game was about three bucks. At the next flea market I picked up something quite weird. The Tomy Electronic Formula 1. It's like an LCD game from 1978. Yeah, I don't know. Kinda looked cool, so I picked it up. And I paid about a buck and 20 cents for it, so not too bad. At the last flea market I picked up Resident Evil 4 for the PS2 for a little bit over two bucks. So, that's pretty good. I didn't have the standard edition here, so only had the collector's edition, you know, the Steelbox one, and of course the GameCube one, and the Wii one, so on and so forth. So that was on August 1st, and I didn't pick up anything until August 11th after that, but damn was it a good day. Facebook deals on top of Facebook deals. Well, free Facebook deals to be exact, but all awesome. But first I'm just going to show you the small amount of things that I got at first stores on that day. At one store they had some DS games for 75 cents each, so I just picked up all four. And yes, it's children's games, but hey, 75 cents. Build a bear workshop, Hello Kitty Daily, don't look at me like that. Let's play shops, yeah I don't know. Tim Power, Policeman. As I said, 75 cents each. And at another store I picked up a copy of Time Splitters 2 on the PS2, also for 75 cents. Now on to the good stuff. So I'm just going to show you these Facebook deals in the order of how happy I was to actually get them. So the first deal was 5 loose systems, no cables or anything, sadly. A couple of controllers though, but we'll get to that. So the first two systems were two NES clones. You know these that were made to look like a Super Nintendo to con children back in the day? Actually my family was conned by one of these. Bought one of these second hand. It was supposed to be a Super Nintendo, but guess what it wasn't. But hey I got to play some Mega Man on it, so man. But as you can hear this one, this one is truly broken. There's nothing to do there. All of the electronics in it is fucked up. This one though seems to be in much better condition, but I don't know if it works because I don't have a power supply for it, so I'll get to test that out sometime. The third system, a Sega Master System 2. Gotten a lot of these lately, huh? And that works just fine. All the original hardware consoles here, they work as they should, so that makes it a good deal. Then the last two systems, an NES and a very yellow NES. Limited edition. No. No. But these both work fine, so I have absolutely no complaint with this deal. 15 bucks for those five systems. That's pretty good if I have to say it myself, you know. Oh yeah, there were one very beat up NES controller and one controller for the clone systems. And that works. See, even the controller is made to look like the Super Nintendo controller. Conning people, I'm telling you. But I guess it worked. So these two would be the regular buttons and these are turbo buttons. So I guess I have a turbo controller now. With the next two deals, I really don't know which one made me the happiest. But I'm just going to show you what I think you might think is the least impressive of them. So I picked up a GameCube with a Game Boy player. I've been looking for one of these for the longest time, but damn, people demand high prices for it. So I'm ecstatic over here. That's fucking awesome. And wouldn't you know that this too, I've already been playing some Game Boy games on this. It's awesome. There weren't any GameCube games with the GameCube, but there were some Game Boy Advance games. Ice Age, Metabots, Rokushu version, I think. Columns Crown, Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green. And there's a hair right there. There we go. So all of that, the GameCube, the Game Boy Player, the Game Boy Advance games, a little bit over 22 bucks, which is an amazing deal really. Couldn't be happier with it. Now to the last Facebook deal of that day. First off, there were a stack of N64 manuals. 
I'm just gonna go through them quickly. Banjo Kazooie, Bomberman 64, Diddy Kong Racing, F1 World Grand Prix, Golden Eye 007, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Mario Kart 64, Mario Party, Mission Impossible, Super Mario 64, and Yoshi's Story. Not all of the manuals are in the best shape, but they came free with the deal, so why not? There were also two N64 controllers free in the deal, a grey one and a blue one, but both of their thumbsticks are very, very loose, sadly. Now to the main event of this deal. Not one, but two Super Nintendos. Deja Vu, you know, from last month with the NESs. And both systems had one controller each, but of course there were also games. Let's start out with the Super Game Boy. And as you see, there's Tetris in there, and a few other Game Boy titles. Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly, Kirby's Dream Land, Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins, and Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. Now on to the actual SNES games. Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. So that's a way to get the trilogy in one swoop up. And the rest of the SNES games in no particular order. Super Mario All-Stars, Flashback, King Arthur's World, Kirby's Ghost Trap, World Cup USA 94, The Addams Family, Sim City, also Super Star Wars, and last but not least, Super Mario Kart. So all of that, the two NESs with the two controllers, the N64 manuals and the N64 controllers, the Super Game Boy and the Game Boy games, and the SNES games. 30 bucks. <clears throat> now that, that was a sweet deal. Especially considering that I've told you in earlier videos that I never find cartridge space games. But these last two months, they've had some epic pickups with those, you know what I'm saying? This guy, this guy, is a happy camper. Now, on August 13th, I picked up something, but we're going to have to turn the camera around for you to see it. And that thing was what you're looking at right here. This big ass TV right here. This is the Beosender AV5. Why did I buy this and why is that in this pickups video? Well, I'll tell you. This TV has a built-in CDI player. As you can see, I just died in Space Ace. I always told myself if I had to get a new TV for my game room, this would be it. And one day it was just at the local junkyard store. What are the odds, right? See, it is missing this decorative panel down here, but the TV works fine. As you can see, the speakers actually come out from the side. You can try turn it off here. No, I don't want to play again. Turning off. Look at this. Now that's cool. Look at that. Also there. Listen to that sound though. I don't know how good that's going to sound with the camera audio. Space Ace, defender of justice, truth, and the planet Earth. Ace is being attacked by the evil commander of all. No way, Borville, buddy. Oh. Ah, I've been hit by the Infanto Ray. So you can actually control the game with this remote right here. Okay, this is paused now. It's hard as fuck playing with this though, but you can do it. There's also inputs on the back for controls and stuff. So I just had to pick that out really. And a little bit over 22 bucks. I don't really think I can complain about that. And I actually have like a motorized turning system down here, so I can just turn the television with the remote. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know, getting a TV with built-in CDI capabilities. I guess it seemed cool. And for real so, I love the television. I do. It's amazing. So next up, on August 14th, I got a package in the mail with some games that I won in an online auction. So these games that I'm going to show you I actually got for 15 cents each. And it's all big box PC stuff. Insurrection, campaigns for StarCraft, the next 70 levels for Warcraft 2, one of these re-releases of Warcraft, another one of these, this time Atomic Bomberman, Stellar Forces, which is also add-on levels for StarCraft, and of course, StarCraft! Because why not? There's one big box game left in here. Warcraft 2 Deluxe Edition. It's actually pretty heavy. So the guy that I won this from actually contacted me and asked me if I just wanted to get the rest of the games he had for like one and a half bucks. So I said, yeah, sure. Not all of this is very interesting. Some regular Warcraft games. 
Rage of the Lich King, which is pretty much worthless since it's used. A stack of PC demo discs and shareware discs. A stack of Danish children's games. Starcraft Brood War expansion set. Global War add-on, which is extra levels for Command and Conquer and Warcraft 2. The ultimate add-on for Duke Nukem 3D, Command and Conquer and Warcraft 2. I already have one of these. This would doom, I think. So as I said, the big box games were about 15 cents each and then the rest of this stuff for one and a half bucks. Can I get through even one of these videos without breaking something? And now I have to pick it up like such. Get back in there. Be good. And we're good. So on August 17th I went to a couple of free stores and I only found one thing. One of those bullet shareware discs. Or even 36 I believe. And that was about 45 cents. Ish. On August 20th I went to one of those junkyard shops and I picked up a Circle Pad Pro for the 3DS XL with this manual. And that was about four and a half bucks I think. Hadn't picked up anything in a while so I thought, why not? I still don't even have a 3DS. Then on August 21st I went to another junkyard store and I picked up two PS2 games. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty with the bonus DVD and everything and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And those were one and a half bucks each. Then on the 22nd I went to a couple of flea markets and only the first flea market I went to actually had anything at all. So there I picked up four games, one PS2 and three Wii for about 75 cents each. The PS2 game, Dino Stalker, which is actually part of the Dino Crisis series and actually the Resident Evil Survival series. Maybe I'll make a video one day going into detail with that. And the three Wii games, Bleach, Shadow Blade without its manual sadly, Ready to Rumble 2, Revolution, played the first one on the Dreamcast. So, I guess it should be fun. And Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. And as I said, 75 cents each. Now a couple months ago I told you about this junkyard that had a shit where people can put their used stuff for other people to take home I guess. So on August 26th I got a free copy of Pokemon Red. Sweet. I hate when I can't find stuff. Is it over here? Is it down there? No. Seriously, where is the stuff? Games. Oh, there they are. So I did put them down right next to me. So on the 29th, I went to a couple of flea markets. At the first one, I actually picked up a Game Gear game, Shinobi, for about four and a half bucks. Only because I never find these, so I thought I might as well. And after that, I went to another flea market, like a street flea market, where multiple houses have flea markets. At the very last one, I asked if they had any old video game stuff. It was like an old couple, so I thought no chance really. But they actually had a lot of Amiga stuff, but couldn't really afford it. But while looking through all of the Amiga stuff, I saw one thing in their closet. And it was something that I just had to pick up. A complete box and near mint copy of Star Tropics on the NES. I've already put it in a box protector as you can see. This is totally complete, like the letter in there that you have to dip in water and everything. The manual, all the little ads and stuff, everything is in here. So that I really really just had to pick up. I have never found a boxed NES game in a while so that was awesome. And I only paid about two and a half bucks for it. So call me happy. Or you could call me happy if you want. So after that there were only some random pickups. So on August 30th there were one of these big hall flea markets. They're very hit and miss really. You know, private vendors. And this time there weren't any really big scores. But let's just go through it. So first up I picked up two PS2 games for about one and a half bucks each. Ratchet and Clank. And Ratchet and Clank 2 Going Commando. And I found two big box PC games. And I paid about four and a half bucks for both. Toka 2 Touring Cards. They go on tour. And Top Gun Hornet's Nest. I wonder if this is just as bad as the NES one. I guess I'll have to find out. As I said, four and a half bucks for both of those. And the last thing I picked up at that flea market, also for about four and a half bucks, a copy of Donkey Kong Jungle Beat on the Wii, the new play control thing, and a copy of Epic Mickey Power of Illusion on the 3DS. As I said, four and a half bucks for both. So after that I just went back to the flea market where I bought the Game Gear game the day before and one of the vendors there actually have got some games this time. So for one and a half bucks I picked up Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit on the PS3. Now I looked in it to see if it had its manual and I was like yeah it does. But after further review I actually found out that the manual was for Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. What can you do? Gotta use my eyes some more. 
And at a little flea market that I've been to many times but never bought anything from, I actually bought this. Game Fun! It's an LCD game with Tetris. I only bought this because I had one as a child and I thought it was pretty cool that it's complete in box and everything. So, one and a half bucks for that. Now for the very last day of the month. I went to many thrift stores but only two of them had anything. Well, at the first one I picked up something. I picked up two PS2 demo discs. Some pretty cool demos on some of them. Metal Gear Solid 2 and that one. Like Primal and Hitman 2 and the getaway and stuff on this one. I actually got both of those for free because, you know, resale is prohibited. And the very last pickup of the month. Phone! And the very last pickup of the month was at a thrift store slash young girl store that I bought a lot from in the past but haven't really found anything lately. But now I got a stack of random PS2 and PS1 games. So let's just go through it. X Games Pro Border, X-Men Mutant Academy, Platinum Copy of Wipeout 2097, Time Crisis Project Titan, Tekken 3, Battle Sport, and Actual Tennis. And the PS2 games. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Legends of Wrestling, Brother, Rocky Legends, two copies of Soul Calibur 2, Surfing Ace 3 0, Tekken Tag Tournament, Tomb Raider Legend, Vampire Knight, and WWE Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. So that's it for the August Pickups video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that shit. And please tell me what you picked up lately in the comments down below. Bye! And that was it. Yay! If you smell what the rock is cooking. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that in. <laughs>